Today we are going to be making peach cobbler monkey bread. So for this recipe, you will need some brown sugar, a stick and a half of margarine, cinnamon, vanilla extract is optional, but I want it. Two cans of peaches. You can get the sliced ones or um, cut them yourself. And then two um, big cans of biscuits. I'm using the layers, but you can use whatever kind of biscuits you want. And then optional, I'm gonna drizzle some um, cream cheese icing on top of mine, but you don't have to use that. All right, let's move on to the next step. So the first step, I'm just gonna cut all my biscuits into fours. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna do that to all my biscuits and we can move on to the next step. All right, so for the next step in making our uh, monkey bread, you're going to need to get whatever kind of pan you're going to use. If you want a classic monkey bread shape, then use a black pan. And off camera, I went ahead and just diced up all of my peaches. I sliced a few of them because I wanted the top to have it all pretty or whatever. So, yeah, just dice up your peaches and then um, go ahead, take some brown sugar. And you don't really got to measure this part. But just put enough to coat all your biscuits with. So I think about a cup should do the trick for that part. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to that. Mix that up. And then I'm just gonna throw them in now and get them tossed up a few at a time so they don't be sticking together and stuff. All right. Put some pan spray or a grease your pan, however. All right, my bad, y'all. After you grease your pan, to get a little uh, peach design on the top, I'm gonna take those slices and just like put a few all around the bottom. So maybe it'll bake kind of cute or whatever on the top. I'm putting them in like the grooves of the, um, the blunt pan. Ooh, that thing's slippery. Now, All just right. take your little um, bread pieces and just place them in the pan like that. It ain't really got to be no intricate design and nothing like that. But I'm going to put about half of my biscuits, and then I'm going to come back and show y'all the next step. But I forgot to mention, I also only use a can and a half of biscuits because I realize it's probably too many. So, yeah, just FYI. After you put like half of your biscuits in the pan, I'm just gonna put some peaches, half of my peaches all around like that, you know. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my last little bits of bread. I guess you probably could have used both cans of biscuits. I don't know. But I don't want mine to be too big. So I used one and a half. So. All right. I guess I'll put the other ones. Put all them peaches in there. All right, y'all. So I'm going to come back and show you the next step. So for the next step, I got about a cup of um, brown sugar in my bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and just take that um, stick and a half of butter and add that. Then I'm going to add a few drops of vanilla. That's optional again. I'm going to 
gonna put some ground cinnamon. You can add some nutmeg or whatever you like to it. Whatever you usually will put in your peach cobbler. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, uh oh, is just put a little taste of this rum so I can get rid of it. Oh yeah, all right. And so I'm just pop this in the microwave to melt my butter and I'm gonna come back and show you the last step. So I got my little butter sugar mixture melted and all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pour that all around our bread. Make sure you get it evenly, you know, in there. All right, so this is the bread, all that butter and whatever. We're gonna go ahead and bake this on 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes. I'm gonna come back and let you know the exact time. So I baked this for about 45 minutes and let it cool for about 10. And this is the end result. I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen up the sides with my spoon. I did a little bit already. And you can just use like a spatula or whatever to just lift them sides up. Then just jiggle a little bit, try to loosen it up. Hopefully, we can make this come out pretty. So put your serving dish like that. All right, I'm gonna just do like that. See if we can get it all out. I feel like it. See, boom. Now look at that. All right, so the last step, ooh, it's pretty. I think I lost one peach, but that's all right. I took my icing and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little drizzle over my monkey bread like that. You don't got to do this, but I'm going to do this. So, after that's done, that's really it, y'all. I'm going to let this cool for a little bit before I try it, and then I'm going to come back and taste it for y'all. So, this is the end result. I just went ahead and sprinkled a little extra cinnamon and put some ice cream next to mine. I'm going to go ahead and taste it for y'all. You really don't need the fork, but... You know. Mm-hmm. And that tastes like mm, the hybrid between like a cinnamon roll and peach cobbler. So if you like those, I suggest you try this recipe. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next episode of Cooking Melissa.